What's up everybody? This is Adam here at engineeringsolve.com. I got this tool here for you. It's called the Pressure Vessel Nozzle Qualification Tool. And it basically does your area replacement method, if you're familiar with the ASME code. Uh, so let's just run through an example. I'll show you what it does here. Uh, let's say you have a pressure vessel uh, operating at uh, 100 PSI and it's at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, your weld joint types uh, are type 1. one. It could be 1 through 6 based on the diagrams below taken from the code. Uh, so let's select uh, weld joint 1 which is a double weld butt joint for the vessel nozzle and reinforcing pad. Uh, we have full radiography. Now these two elements together, the weld joint type and the extent of radiography, those combine together and give you your weld efficiency factor down here, 1.0. If we change this to spot, uh, we have to derate our stress essentially from 15% uh, down from 1 down to 0 0.85. Okay, so moving on. Let's say your vessel is 36 inch uh, internal diameter with a 12 inch ID for your nozzle. Uh, 5 8 inch thick shell with a half inch nozzle and also you have an 18 inch reinforcing pad this let's say the reinforcing pad is usually the same thickness as the shell so let's update that to uh, 5 8 as well let's say you have uh, 1 8 inch of corrosion uh, and then your mill tolerance for your nozzle is typical about 12 and a half percent uh, for piping and then you can you can change this if you like I don't know 10% or whatever you want but we'll leave it at 12 and a half uh, that's usually a standard procedure uh, now here we have uh, 0 0.01 inches for your mill tolerance and notice this is the same variable mill tolerance but one is in percent and one is in uh, an actual value a length value uh, let's change this let's say you have a carbon steel vessel, uh, A106 grade B, uh, A106 grade B, and then as well, same thing here, we'll just do a simple carbon steel uh, vessel. Now you saw the allowable stress updated based on whatever material you have. If you want three or four stainless, uh, it gets a little weaker at that, at that temperature. Or you can override if you're material that you're using isn't listed here. Uh, you can just look up the allowable stress at your temperature uh, for whatever material you like and place it in here. 15, let's say we have a material we're using. Uh, the allowable stress is 15,000 and then everything is overridden at that point. But let's not do that now. Okay, moving on. So we have a fillet weld length of 0.625. Usually you want to have that leg length approximately the same uh, distance or length really as your thickness uh, in that in that region and then let's say we have a quarter of an inch inward projection of the nozzle into the vessel uh, through the, uh, basically through I'll show I'll show you there's a little diagram below I'll show you what that does okay so moving on uh, what this does is it checks your thickness first based on the code equation PR over SE minus 0.6P looks like your shell thickness is adequate uh, this is your minimum shell thickness TR um, as well as for your nozzle it looks like uh, 5 eighths and 1 half is much larger than these two so we're, we're in good shape uh, as well as this third criteria that's okay as well uh, moving on to the weld size check, uh, you want the uh, minimum allowed and the actual. Uh, pretty self-explanatory there. So the actual is thicker than the minimum allowed in both cases, therefore we're okay in both cases. And uh, concurrently we're adequate as well over here. Uh, now moving on again, we have the required area check. Now this is this is the the real meat of the tool right here is the adding up all the various areas that are associated with the area replacement method a1 a2 a3 a4 
you see all these different kinds of areas for different uh, with and without reinforcement pads. Uh, so if we move on down here, it goes through the gamut of all the areas, uh, adds them all up. There's a, there's a uh, material factor here. Uh, this is based on your material, whatever material you check. There could be some derating between the nozzle and the vessel. Uh, and then it adds it up. And then we're here. We're, uh, sum of all the areas is 8.855 inches squared. And the required area, the, the area that we removed to drill, basically the whole area, cross-sectional area of the hole, so the thickness times the, the diameter of the hole that we drilled through the, through the vessel is the area required. And it's only 1.275 inches squared. So we're in good shape there. We've put a lot more area material basically back onto the, the, or the region in question. Uh, more than enough to satisfy this uh, this tool here. Now there's a warning section in case uh, there's a lot of inputs in this tool and if you don't really know what you're doing you could screw a, th a few things up so this warning section will let you know if anything looks a little fishy so uh, you want to pay attention to that and then down here this is the this is the real beauty of the, the tool is that it will plot a scale drawing of whatever you've input ab up above. And it's live, so you can input whatever you want up above. Uh, reinforcing pad, without a reinforcing pad, with the inward projection here, or without one. Uh, with corrosion allowance, this dotted line along the inside of the, of the vessel and then the nozzle, as well as your weld, uh, your weld shapes here. And that also gives your limit of reinforcement envelope in this red box. Now, if if all of these checks are okay, these three, one, two, three, uh, then this overall result will be adequate, and you're good to go. Uh, there is a possibility that this could be adequate for the overall result, but you may have some warnings, and you want to keep keep those in mind. Uh, that's that's about it. Let me let me run through another another one here, just so you can see how the graph updates. Let's say we don't have a reinforcing pad, so let's let's delete the pad. Let's say we don't need one or we don't want one. It's extra work. It's extra material. It's extra time. It's extra welding. Uh, looks like we're still adequate in all these cases. Uh, I require our sorry our. Required areas stay the same, obviously, but the area that we've replaced has gone down slightly, but we're still uh, five times as much, essentially, so we're still in good shape. and still no warnings. And now you go down here and you see that the, the reinforcing pad is now missing. It's not missing, but it's not showing up in the graph because you didn't specify it. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you like the tool. Uh, check it out. It's at engineeringsolve.com slash excel uh, you have this tool as well as many other tools free for download uh, check it out anytime you want thanks